a really cool book. And look at that stingray, freshwater ray of some sort. Ooh, what is that, Arapaima? I have no idea. This one might be my new favorite one. Almost weird how real it looks. Different sticks and wafers and bits. They actually list salmon meal, Manhattan fish meal, different the actual different fish meals. I don't really have a coffee table. However, we may need to get one because this is a really cool book and it looks like it's designed for a coffee table after I get done flipping through it. This is the first time I'm checking it out. Pretty, pretty awesome looking arowana. I'm not sure if it's a silver arowana, but if you can see, this is a picture by, uh, I'm assuming it's a picture by Oliver Lucanus, that this is his book. So I'm assuming it's his picture, Below Water, the Amazon. I actually won this book. Huge shout out to not only Oliver Lucanus, but to Fluval, they had a, um, a giveaway on their, um, on a, oh gosh, a YouTube video there. It's Best Wishes, May 2020. Signed by Oliver. Big thank you to him. Like I said, and, ooh, dang. And Fluval for uh, sponsoring this giveaway. Look at that stingray. Freshwater ray of some sort. I didn't realize that. It makes sense that those rays come from the Amazon. Ooh, what is that? Arapaima? I have no idea. Really, really neat book. Excited to deep to uh, jump into this. Obviously, it's mostly pictures. There's um, some descriptions and some words, obviously some words. But uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful book. Um, if you're interested in something like this, I'm sure you can pick it up somewhere. I have no idea. It's not sponsored by them or anything. Oh, heavy book. Holy crap, expensive book. Uh, 72. This came from Canada. I think um, Oliver Lucanus lives there. I'm not sure if he's Canadian or what. I'm walking over here to put this on the coffee table. It doesn't exist. Um, yeah, we'll probably just leave it right here for now. Don't want to put keeps in the fish room because I don't want to damage it at all, obviously. But really, really excited to have this in my collection of now one fish books. All right, guys, we got a package from Amazon. It's actually not from Amazon, via Amazon, but it's from Pleco Ceramics. Our friends over at Pleco Ceramics. Ceramics hooked us up with some more cool uh, stuff. I'm really excited. I'm not sure I'm excited as Bo is to eat, although it doesn't seem that excited. Are you excited to eat? No. He's usually more excited. Anyway, back to the, the unboxing here. Check it out. They've been really, uh, they've been releasing a lot of new products lately. So it's cool to see them kind of just keeping up with the times. I think they've been listening to a lot of uh, feedback from the customers in terms of kind of blending functionality with kind of a cool look. So it looks cool, but it's also going to, you know, be a nice size or not be a nice size. I'm reading that it's medium size. It's going to look cool, but it's also going to be functional. So it can be breeding or blend in. Um, this one, let's see what this is called. This is the Pleco Cave Natural Medium Size. Pleco Cave Natural. So they're basic. Oh, this is nice. Their basic caves are kind of like this, but not as natural. They don't look basic. This is, looks like a natural log. I like this a lot. And it's made with a uh, kind of a flat base there. See how it's kind of like made to, that's supposed to be flat, it's flattened out so that it will stay like that. It's pretty neat. I like that, it's a really nice size. This is, I'd say probably like a two and a half inch size, something like that, I don't know, it doesn't say exactly, but uh, nice size, one open-ended, only one-ended is really good for breeding. Um, and it's actually what the fish prefer. I know most most caves you see, most decorations have like multiple openings. I'm nothing against that. That's good for, you know, cichlids and moving around, but for breeding and stuff, typically you want something with like minimal uh, opening. So like one opening, it's got some size to it here. This looks like it's got a wide mouth to it. If I'm not mistaken, like I said, these are all new, brand new kind of uh, designs by Pleco Ceramics. I'll have links down in the description where you could check them out. This guy's pretty cool. Looks like uh, kind of a big horn. So uh, another another awesome cave, um, especially for, you know, I guess it doesn't have to be for breeding, but these caves with only the one entrance are nice for breeding. But 
I know that even my, my synodontist catfish like to go in there and hang out. Um, believe it or not, a lot of fish like a dark space and this provides a nice dark space. And like I said, they, they're natural looking, really cool looking. This one would kind of nice fit wedge back somewhere potentially, kind of just uh, blend in. And uh, this one might be my new favorite one from them, but let's see, I don't want to talk too soon because we got a few more. I don't know what these all are. These are the, these are, oh wow, they hooked it up big time. Looks like we got three of these. So they must have read my mind or they must have knew that I would like these because um, they sent three of those. But those seem to be the perfect ones of these new ones, breeding bristle nose plecos, which I know a lot of people do. That's what I do. Um, that would be a really good size. Let's check out this one. This one is the Tree Lodge, Tree Lodge Cave, which judging by the size of it, it seems to be the largest of the three. Let's check this one out. This one might not be the best for breeding, but it may be the best kind of just best looking and provide the best, the best cover for uh, your fish and blend in and look natural. And this guy's massive. This is gonna be a huge, huge, huge cave. This is the Tree Lodge Cave. This sucker is ginormous. Let's see. Okay, I think it's, it looks, oh wow. Yeah, I think it's gonna look more like the, uh, that one I like. Slow and steady wins the race, Ryan. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, wow. This is like a big old turkey leg. This is neat looking. It reminds me of, uh, if you guys ever gone to like Disney or something, they have like big turkey legs you can eat. But this is looks, this looks so natural. This looks like a legit bark on a tree. I don't know who they're working with. It looks like camo. Like you can't even tell that's, there's actually, you see that there? It's like 3D, it's ribbed, but that looks almost like not, it looks like a painting. It looks crazy natural, almost weird how real it looks. It's like a piece of, a piece of down wood, the different uh, shadings. I wonder if they took like, an imprint or something of real wood. Um, that side, I'm not sure which side it's meant to be on. Probably reversible, this one. That one looks pretty natural. It looks like more of a darker kind of bark. Um, but in my opinion, this side, I'm being careful with it. This side looks badass. Excuse my French. Um, but that looks like super real, like legit, like down tree in a wood, woods or something. Big shout out to Pleco Ceramics. I really appreciate them hooking us up with these caves. Um, these will be my favorite in terms of, you know, breeding and looking real neat. Um, excuse me, these would be the go-to. This guy, depending if you have some larger species of catfish plecos or anything else, this might be a good one, but uh, I think this thing is just cool and I would use it this way, but that's just me. I do like their flake. Ken's makes a, a, a krill and for right now, they have a lot of different varieties. Ken's is definitely a discount. I'm not saying it's the best or better than Extreme. Um, I've never tried out the vegetable flake before. Um, full disclosure, I like their meat wafers. Their veggie wafers suck. You know, at least my fish don't eat them. The plecos don't really enjoy them. Uh, they like the meat wafers. They like the granules. Um, I, I've used their, their krill flake and their intense spirulina flake. I will say that if you go to their website, there's a lot of discount stuff there. Um, some of the cheaper, lower-end foods I wouldn't mess with. The upgraded one, like intense spirulina, is better than the regular spirulina because the first ingredient is spirulina, at least. Um, and I'm not trying to say these are the best ingredients ever. At least it is kind of a full disclosure. I've never tried out this one before, the guppy flake. I don't think I've tried this one before. Um, but in this case, they actually list salmon meal, Manhattan fish meal, different the actual different fish meals. And this veggie one, like I said, I just tried this one out for the first time, but it says it's got seaweed, spirulina, carrot, squash, spinach. Um, so I definitely want to... Check those out. I definitely recommend uh, checking them out. I'm not saying it's the best. I do like to order them. It's I order in bulk. You know, for me, it makes sense. These are half pound bags. So literally this is like, you know, a couple pounds of food, which will last me, I don't know, a couple months. I'm still, as the fish cave is growing and I'm trying to, you know, work out all the, the finances and how much everything costs. And obviously the food is one that increased. But it's not too bad. Um, these foods for a half a pound, I mean, you're looking at less than 10 bucks. Each of these is, you know, depends on the different, you know, varieties are less and more money. Some of the sticks, I've never tried these sticks yet. These are some uh, spirulina sticks. So I'm hoping to uh, get the spirulina directly to the 
um, Plecos with this. They got a lot of different options. They have you know different sticks and wafers and bits. I did order the bits one time. They seem to be like a lot pretty expensive for the amount you get. Um, but I do like I do like their flake, their pellets. Uh, their wafers, the meat wafers, not the veggie wafers. If you haven't checked them out, also big shout out. I'm pretty sure Tom at Team Aquatics is the first one that put me on to Ken's Tropical Fish or Ken's Fish. I have no relation to them. I have no idea if it's actually a Ken or who owns them. Don't know. Never talked to the people. I'm just, you know, a customer of theirs and I've been buying uh, semi-regularly now for a year or two. I definitely uh, do enjoy their food, but I'm not... I'll be honest, I'm not someone who's brand loyal. Like, as long as it meets a minimum criteria, which I think this does, at least they're... They're premium blends. Like, like I said, they have lesser blends. These are like the premium guppy flake. They have the regular one. They, this is the premium vegetable. They have the regular one. This is a little bit more money. But if you look at the ingredients, I think in the other ones, you get some more fillers. Um, so I think it's worth it to go ahead and spend the extra money on the upgraded ones. Check out more fish tank antics right there. A big thanks again to Fluval and Oliver Lucanus for the book. Thank you to Pleco Ceramics for sending us those caves. We're not sponsored, but they did send us up for free. And a big thanks to Ken's just for making a good product. And as always, stay positive and stay passionate.